Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about RAID. What RAID is, is a redundant array of independent disks. That's what it stands for. Uh, redundant in the sense that it backs up your information onto uh, multiple drives. Uh, that's not always the case with RAID, especially with RAID 0, which I will talk about, because RAID 0 doesn't back up anything. It just kind of gives you a performance boost. But uh, RAID is really useful these days. Uh, it was more useful back in the day when SSDs didn't exist. But um, since the SSDs are still kind of expensive in the time I'm making this video, it's a great way to go. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. The first type of RAID I'm going to talk about is RAID 0. And what that is, is it gets two hard drives and it combines them to act as one. Now what that does is it, the data that you write onto your hard drive is split into two. It's cut in half. So half the information is written on one drive and half the information is written on the other. Um, get even deeper into it if you have a file that file is chopped in half half of it is on one drive the other half is on another drive so um, this since the file is cut in half it's a smaller it acts as a smaller file for each uh, drive so therefore it writes it quicker onto the drive and that's the basic idea of it and uh, this gives you a huge speed increase um, rather than using a single drive and writing all the information to one drive but the cons are that if one drive does fail you're going to lose all your information because since only half the files are on the the first drive if the second drive fails you're losing half the information which means the file is not going to open windows won't boot you're going to be completely locked out of it and um that's really the only downside to it uh these days if you're not going to go with the SSD and you're going to go with um raid instead to save a couple bucks I'm not sure how much you're going to save these days depending when you're viewing this video, but uh, it would be a good idea to use RAID. I personally use it and I really like it. Next up we have RAID 1. Uh, RAID 1 also uses two drives, a minimum of two drives, and uh, what it does is instead of writing half the information on each drive, it takes the information written on one drive and it does a complete copy, a complete mirror image on the second drive. So what happens is if one of your drives fails, you have a backup without having to worry about if you backed it up because it does it automatically for you. Now keep in mind, you have to look in your motherboard manual and set up the RAID through your BIOS. And you have to figure that out because every motherboard is different in the way they handle this. Alright, next up we have RAID 3. Now RAID 3 gets a little bit confusing. Uh, it's similar to RAID 0 in the fact that uh, it puts half the information on each drives 1 and 2. But there's also a third drive which acts as a, a parity drive, meaning it holds its own copy of uh, the, the information on hard drives 1 and 2. So in case one of the drives fails, you have a backup drive to take its place. So uh, the performance increase comes from writing l uh, larger files, single large files, I should make that very clear, uh, sequential large files. Um, if you're transferring many small files, it's going to be a little slower because it has to write to hard drives 1 and 2, and then it has to rewrite it to hard drive 3. So if you're going to be working with uh, mainly large files, then this would be a better option. But uh, nowadays, there's so many better options of RAID that you don't even need to use RAID 3. It's really not common anymore, and uh, there's just so many better options. So yeah, that's RAID 3. Next up we have RAID 5. Like RAID 3, it also requires a minimum of three drives and what it does is it chops the information up onto each drive. So as you can see there's uh, there's information written partially on one hard drive, partially on the second, and partially on the third. And uh, there's, a, there's a pattern as you can see on the diagram here where it adds a parity bit, a redundancy bit, on each drive which means that if one drive fails there's always going to be a backup of that information now um, what it what the problem with this is uh, it has increased read speeds but the writing speeds are uh, not as great uh, it's still a good way to have uh, your information backed up and it gives you some sort of performance increase and it gives you a fail safe re redundancy so that's the positive side of RAID 5 um, a lot of people choose uh, either RAID 0 or RAID 1 uh, RAID 5 can be an option if that's the route you're trying to go, but uh, wait till we get to RAID 10 and then that is probably going to be the best option for RAID in my opinion. 
All right, so here it is, RAID 10, or also known as RAID 1 plus RAID 0. So what this is, is uh, there's a minimum of four disks, and what happens is, uh, like RAID 0, it will put the partial information on each drive, and like RAID 1, it will make a copy of that on a separate drive. So this is both fail-safe, and it's a huge performance increase. But the only problem with this is it requires four disks, and that can be expensive, especially if uh, you have one failing. You're gonna know that another one's gonna fail sometime soon, and you're gonna have to keep switching out disks, and that can get pretty costly. Uh, this is, in my opinion, the best type of raid because you're getting best of both worlds. You're getting nice redundancy, and you're getting a huge speed increase for both reads and writes. It's not a one-way street. So if you do have the money for it, you could go with RAID 10. But nowadays, you have SSDs, and uh, it just seems like SSDs are the way to go. Um, they're a little costly at, when I'm, at the time of this video, but I'm sure they will go down eventually, and uh, so we'll see huge increases of speed without having to use RAID all the time. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave some feedback if you did. And even if you didn't, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I will try to keep making videos. Uh, I'm sorry this one came out kind of late, but uh, I got it out there. So yeah, uh, that's RAID for you. And I hope you guys will use this knowledge and make a RAID system of yourselves.